Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Neil Narn. We're once again in Red Dead Redemption. So, last episode we did a bunch of clearing up and we needed to go back and do a few things. So first I want to talk back to this guy about the water rights. You want some people here, camping out. Some good old home troops? Oh, we could, but we're going to go talk to this guy first, sorry. We'll go see. He's one who wanted us to buy that ranch. Property owners or not? We hey. are. You got the deed? Yep. There it is. I wouldn't be handing it over to somebody. Not unless he's handing me money back. Yeah, give me All some money right. for that. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Okay, that one's been completed. Let's go over here and... Mind if I sit a spell? Warm by your fire here? You ever thought of the possible implications of these new fly machines? I mean, you think that the normal man, you and me, would ever get near one of those? They are I don't like getting near them now. Federal government to monitor them and bend us to their will. I hear you, specific pants. Second, I see one of them improbable monstrosities coming through the air. I'm gonna live in a cave. I am lies. <laughs> Oh, interesting little discussion. That's quite a tale. So long now. Okay, what do we have to do here? We have a couple things here. So we got to go down and talk to Seth. He's right down the road from us. We still have to get some flowers and stuff by this guy. I really don't want to go around picking flowers right now. We'll do that later. So it looks like our next is really to talk to Seth. Do have... Uh, Nothing down there. That's rentable property that we can use. And we do have uh, the American Appetite we have to finish here. We started doing it the other day and we messed it up. Let's try to do that one again. So we'll grab my horse. We'll ride down there. I ain't got much more to offer Let's go! We gotta keep in out of the coyotes. If I can capture them quick enough, I think I can. Come on! Though I think he's the guy we were sent to rescue anyway. But we gotta get this storyline working right, so we're gonna try it again. country here a little bit. I love riding through the desert. Yeah. Yes, there's fast travel, but the fast travel is limited, which I kind of like. Yeah. Get me close to the marker, but still have to do it yourself. See a little map flickering on the compass down there. That's weird. I haven't seen that before. Get off to talk to you, huh? Oh, oh, mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> That's why I think he's a fool of it. You're all crazy! What's 
What's wrong with you? This is a nightmare. <laughs> I'll bring him back, but I think he's actually... Poor fool's leg, mister. This maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Ah! <laughs> Save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> Can I have this? Cut him free. Where are you going? Oh, where are you going? He'll go off on his own. We did our job. I don't like cannibals. That's not the right way to be. So let's go over and talk to Seth some more. Or do we talk to Westwood first? We might go talk to Westwood first. Where is he at? So we'll talk to him first, because I think we have to further his storyline. Then we'll go back to Seth's. These are the two that's going to help me get into uh, life. And I saw a ride through the desert at night. It's always safe. Realize how far he was out this way. There we go. It's like I know I can put that gun away. Top left trigger. We're all riding on through the countryside here. Gotta be getting close here. horse. That went the wrong way on you. Uh, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Here we go. Back to this town. Hey there. Go. Five a.m. to ten p.m. Okay, so we need to go out here and camp until morning. We can do that. And we'll go a little bit farther out. And in order to uh, rest. 
we got to uh, save. Save right there, that should be good. Now we got some daytime. Why is that road that far out? That put me that far out because I didn't ride that far out. There's some horse breaking over there. Hey there! Okay, back to us. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. You don't meet say that men again. these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature. I really? think Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. <laughs> A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior <laughs> of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um... Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. <laughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, yeah. Do gap tooth breach. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life spots and the jetson. Connection with it more like. You and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people if you want. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. <laughs> oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's landed his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. And Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. 
You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Here, here, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Okay. Now the dialogue's over. We'll just go right to destination. Now we're going to do some racing. Drivers! Y'all know the rules, but for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the faster cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. <laughs> Stay on the road, stay on the road. Just gotta stay ahead of everybody else. And not do anything stupid. So far, so good. We'll speed up there around the corners, down around the hill. Uh, hey, have a good one, guys. We're winning. do a little speeding up here that one's getting a little too close for me take the high road or the low road I took the high road I don't know if that was better or not, but it worked. They didn't give me any, any instructions, so I'm assuming I'm supposed to win. We did it. We won. First try. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Why, we won. Right. Best to move ourselves to the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. Fallen rock, homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. 
Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely the approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. I didn't have any problems. Stay ahead of them, they won't do anything. Since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, where are we going to now? I did all the racing. Where's my share of the profits? That's what I want to know. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. Uh, hmm. Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Okay. So we gotta go find an arms dealer now. But we have somebody here we can talk to. Let's go talk to him before we go do that. Boy, you don't even remember what you did last night, I bet. Hello. That was the jump button, okay. What do we have on the paper? Heathens in Mexico stirring up! Let's see. That is most lovely. Civil unrest. I don't see anything. Okay, we can read it more later, but yeah, you can tell us about what we've done. But let's go see who this is in here. Hello there. That face. How wonderful. Marvelous. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Of course. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you You're say. You're all nuts. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like... Like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. <laughs> yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But, uh, please, don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a okay. monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm going to find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, Guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go on, don't worry about me. My apparent ineptitude is just a comedic affectation. So where do we have to go to see the next guy? There's another guy right out here we can talk to. We may go do him before we go back up here. He's at uh, somewhere outside Armadillo. So yeah, we'll go talk to this stranger over here real quick while we're here on this side. How do you do? Dang fool horse, don't you know you don't sit on the railroad tracks? No.
like how the clouds over the sky do the effect darkening areas. And around the hill we go, what do we see? Okay, what's going on back here? What you doing down here by yourself, buddy? Hello there. Oh, nice to see another sentient being out here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. Anyway, that's the name they gave my grandpappy when he came across New York City. Good to meet you, Sam Odessa. I'm John Marston. You long way from home? Where you come from? Yeah, well, it would be if I had a home to come from. I've been out here for several weeks, or several generations, I guess. Would have made better time, but my horse came up lame a ways back. Trying to get to California. See the ocean. I hear it's wet. <laughs> from the Black Sea to the Pacific in three generations. I'm gonna make something of myself there. I'm gonna find... Something. Here they got a fine line of earthquakes out there. Maybe you can find one of them. <laughs> Listen, Gap Tooth ain't so friendly to strangers. I suggest you head back to Benedict Point before you run afoul one of these gangs that run it out of here. Well, thank you very much for the kind advice, Mr. Marston. I appreciate it. Now go get me on a coach. Better than walking. I'm sure you got better things to do with your time than fussing over me. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see you later. You better not be taking my horse. Check on me, friend. I'm on my way to California right now. As long as you're not on my horse, we're good. But that is our time here. We did a little bit. Um, we're going to go camp, save, and then when we come back, we'll, we'll start with the... Uh, Ivan and the uh, next area. So with that, I hope you had a good day. If you did, give me a like if you enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.